<laughs> yes, many privacy. <laughs> Hey everyone, today we are going to build a house using only traditional gazebos. So first I'm gonna start by placing one of these and I do want it to be kind of dreamy because I do think gazebos are those dream garden thingies that you love so much. So I do want some greenery around it. So I'm gonna have to use a lot of sprinklers. Now I was gonna do a party tent house, but then PETA uploaded a video called I made a house in a party tent. And I was like, okay, let's do that next week and give PETA some time <laughs> because apparently we both have the same ideas quite a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna start by placing a gazebo somewhere and the first gazebo is going to be the kitchen gazebo and yes, I'm going to say gazebo a lot <laughs> because that's what the video is all about. Now in a kitchen, we do need a fridge, of course. Why am I already stuck? I just placed a gazebo and now I'm stuck. I have so many ideas and I don't know which one I want to do. Let's place the first fence around the gazebo. No, not not fence gates, fences. I'm gonna go for the low hedge. And then of course we need some sprinklers. And yes, I do have 22 of those. I did not have an orange tree farm. I promise. And let's add another sprinkler here so that we can water all of the flowers that we are going to place around it. And so yes, I used sprinklers because dead flowers don't look as nice. This is looking so pretty already. And what I will do now is create a bigger hedge behind that so that we can place some trees. And then in here, I will put some light and I do want some softer light than this uh, institutional white. So let's paint that linen. And then for the trees, I will use this stack tree, but I will paint it in a different color than the hedges we have already otherwise it will just be the same color through and through so let's not do that so so far this is what our first gazebo will look like and for flooring I'm just gonna be creating some dirt path so I'm gonna go for the pebble and I'm gonna paint that in a brown color or maybe a pine cone color and then the floor in the gazebo has to be a little bit lighter so I'm gonna use these stones and I can make some uh, pads with that so yes that will be amazing and the roof has to be a little old looking maybe like lighthouse ish for example, if I go for this red with a diamond material, I think that looks pretty neat. And in the middle here, I will place some carpet. Yeah, I was gonna do a kitchen, but then thinking about it a little bit later, I thought I can have quick meals and fill my hunger with that. So who needs cooking anyway? And then going into garden, I will make stepping stones that lead onto the other things. And I think this carpet would look really nice if it kind of resembled patchwork. Something like this, it looks a bit aged and still cozy but I wonder if we can put candles on the ground oh we can now hmm that is nice <laughs> that's a big fire hazard I'm gonna try and find a tiny little table where I can place my candle on so it looks at least a little safer and not like it's gonna catch fire any minute okay so we got this little table right here I will just um, paint that in the same colors as the gazebo I'll place that on top of the table so that it at least looks a little safer <laughs> And I will drag this big fence all the way through like that so that you at least have some privacy. And then we need some fence gates. It's actually the first time I'm using these fence gates in a build. So I'm quite excited for them <laughs> to be honest. And then I think what will make it really fairy like is the hanging lights, but we need to kind of hide them. So I'm looking for a place where I can just start my line. I don't think we will be able to hide them really well though. We need to make it a little more natural. So what I will do here is I will create a little shape. I am on manual placement, am I? I will create a little shape right here that makes it look a little more realistic and not just like <laughs> splashed onto the ground. <laughs> And then of course, I copy some of the flowers to this spot right here. So this is gonna be the living room gazebo. And I also, no, I didn't want to grab that one. I wanted to copy it. And I also want a toilet gazebo. So I'm gonna put that one right here. And this one is gonna be really close and just caved in for privacy reasons. And then of course, we need a sleep gazebo as well. So let's put that one in here. And of course, we do want to center that right in front of the gate as well. And it would be nice if like the sleep gazebo got a completely completely different team than a fairy team we got here. So maybe like a desert team for this one. So for a toilet gazebo, we of course need a different
different type of roof, so I will paint that one blue. And then the floor, I'm gonna keep the same so that we at least have that to continue on. So of course, in the toilet gazebo, you will need some privacy, so I will try and place some half walls in here. <laughs> yes, many privacy. <laughs> Let's paint that in a darker color. And then behind that, I kind of want to make a shower, probably this one something like this then it comes through the wall like that so it's gonna be right here well it's a little bit crooked but it kind of matches with the fairy style doesn't it and i'm just gonna continue making this path right here if it doesn't keep grabbing the fence lights i'm just gonna continue making this part right here so that it uh, forms a nice uh, pathway to all the gazebos that we placed now i wish i was kind of closer to the street but well i am not so um maybe that gives us the chance to make a little forest to go towards the garden so that you at least get in the spirit uh <laughs> of the gazebo house yes so I created the path right here and now it's time to fence in the forest that we are going to create so that it looks kind of hidden away when you are trying to walk up to it. And for the trees in the forest I'm going to go for the um, rough trees because I do think they look a lot nicer uh, when you try and make a foresty area. But I will paint them in weird colors because as I said I do want kind of like the fairy theme so I will make them pink and blue and whatever colors. I will put some normal trees in between it as well. Okay I think I'm gonna leave it at this and then I want to paint the lights in like pinks and purples just to create a more fairy vibe. So let's go out of build mode. Actually I'm gonna move my mailbox so that uh, I don't have to walk five miles before I can enter my house. And let's see what it looks like to go up to our gazebo house. Okay it looks like a big big party box but that's fine. So this is the little forest. I will add some bushes in here because I do think it's quite empty now but other than that I kind of seem to love it and I might add a campfire here somewhere as well. Oh that would be nice. So this is the fairy forest. We'll still need to add some stuff here and then right here we go into our um, <laughs> dining and this will be the living room gazebo and then this will be the bed gazebo but I, I think I will make this one in a desert theme. Not sure yet. And then uh, this is our toilet gazebo so it has a shower toilet and then these lights but you don't really see them right now because it's daylight so let's go back into build mode and I'm gonna be just placing some bushes around here but I do want to give them some different colors so I will place them here first and paint them in different colors so that it's easier to copy them and then I do want to find some spot to have a nice fireplace in because yes I do want to go and sit around the fireplace from time to time and make some s'mores if I'm hungry. Uh, let's paint the fire in the linen as well because I do think the color that comes with it is a little too intense. And around the fireplace where are these new seats? I think they're just in chairs. I'm gonna put some folding chairs and then what seems like a fun idea is if I go into garden and I go to the birdhouse. Let's see where I can find it. Here it is. And I place that kind of inside like a tree it might look like elf houses if that works that is because right now this is um this is not helping does this look like a fairy house? Okay, this kind of does. I kind of like that. Now let's go in and let's make the, I think I called it the living room gazebo. <laughs> and let's go into comfort. And we need something very, very luxurious and still matching with the fairy style so that you can sit and read. I don't know why, but this garden feels like it needs a reading nook as well. And then right here, I'm gonna put another table. So as I said, I want to make it look like there's a little electricity in this plot. We are using sprinklers and the fairy lights, but still, uh, yes. And then here, let's place a circular placemat so that it looks like someone else can just come in and sit on here. And right next to that, I'm gonna add a coffee machine because coffee is very important and you need it in every single house. And for the sleep gazebo, as I said, I do want to make this more of a desert theme so the wood is gonna be a little lighter. And then on the floor, I need to make a pattern with sand so I kinda want to make it as close to the gate as possible but then not too close as well so that it doesn't come into the fairy garden. And no, my hammock is not going to be wood as well. And so the lights here are gonna be quite different as well. I might even be using the fire, the tiki torch. And then for the plants, I do want some cacti. I don't want my entire garden to die here, please. I think the blossom cactus needs water, so I'm gonna have to place sprinklers here. So this is our desert sleeping nook. I kind of like it, to be honest. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now I think we finished the gazebo house and I know this is supposed to be gazebos only, but this is a glorified version. So let's go out of build mode 
and let's enter through the fairy forest. This is the entrance to the house. You have your little trees with some special kind of trees behind it. And then you go through this with the special lighting. There is a fairy house right here. So the main fairy lives here, the other ones I don't know, they live in the trees or something like that. Then we have our campfire right here with the folding chairs so that we can put them away easily. Well, you can't, but let's imagine you can. And then continuing, we go to the picnic place, which is basically the dining room. So if you want to eat, you will have to click yourself. And I have way too many emotes on, so I have to do more and more and more. And then I can sit and eat my dinner or lunch whatever right here and then right here we have the living room gazebo and in the living room gazebo you can sit and read and just relax and enjoy your surroundings and then here we have a coffee machine because as i said every house needs a coffee machine and going outside the gazebo we continue on to the bathroom gazebo or the toilet gazebo you have your sink your privacy toilet well privacy but anyways your privacy toilet and your shower right here and oh my i forgot to add a closet so yes, I just added a clothing rack right here so that you can at least change your clothes if you want to and it's totally not gonna fade in the sun like that. Then going outside the toilet gazebo, we continue on to the desert area and in the desert area we have the bed gazebo and in the bed gazebo there's a little hammock that you can sleep in and get your energy up. See, your energy goes up. It's not a bed, but at least you can lay in it and relax. And this is the desert looking gazebo. So going back into the fairy land, we have this. And I hope my sprinklers go far enough because I don't want to see any dead plants. Please, please, please. And then we have this and zooming out, as you can see, this is a glorified gazebo house. It was supposed to be gazebos only, but then I was like, let's give it a little team. And I kind of like it. So yeah. That's that's the entire gazebo thing right here. But I'm kind of glad with how it turned out. The value is $67,000. I was going to say K, but yes, it's $67,000. And this is what we got for it. So you kind of live outside, but <laughs> still got some privacy at least. Now, anyways, that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.